Hi, this is Ryan Lawler. I'm in Vegas for CS 2014. Today, we're going to talk to Smart Things. We're here at the Smart Things house. They have a whole new app, a bunch of new partners, and we're going to get a few demos. A lot's happening a year. You uh, have a brand new app, you have new partners, and you actually have products out on the market. So, um, so what's changed? What's new other than those things? It's been a big year. I mean, this is this next year. We think is sort of the main. Uh, tipping point for the Internet of Things, and uh, we've done a lot to get ready for that. So since since we saw you last year, we shipped our product. Uh, that was a big, big change. Uh, shipped all of our uh, Kickstarter backers in the U.S. and Canada. We um, really got about, you know, our first sort of 10,000 uh, or so households up and running on, on the platform and learned a lot from that in order to figure out how to make things just easier. You know, what are the top use case scenarios from, from users and boil those all into a very simple to use new version of the app. All right, well, let's take a look at the app. Sounds good. So in the new app, it's all based around this, this idea of a dashboard where you can discover these top use cases and exactly what you can do with the platform. And within this, I can go, say, into lights and switches. It makes it very simple to drive full uh, automation, make it work just the way that, that you would want to. So I could sort of add a new set of lights here. Another big feature is what we call Hello Home, and it makes it almost conversational. You can talk to your, talk to your house, and that's accessible up, up here. You tap on this, and you basically get a conversational stream as though you're talking to your house, and you can tell it things like, I'm going to sleep now, and have it set up so it'll react automatically all around you. All right, so now we're in the kitchen. Um, now that you're set up, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the things that you can do uh, with the new app? Yeah, so uh, you know, a lot of the times you're, of course, not carrying your mobile phone with you at all. So a lot of things in SmartThings just happen automatically in the background with apps that have been built by the open community. So this forthcoming example of Jawbone Up integration, you know, this would sense that I wake up in the morning. So rather than me having to tell my house that I'm awake, this can actually sense that I wake up in the morning. So what I'll do is sort of trigger that to, to happen, and then in the background, SmartThings will sense that I've woken up and the house will uh, wake, up, uh, wake up around me. So as an example there, the lights came on uh, in the kitchen. The coffee pot actually would have started to brew and you know, it's going to welcome me uh, up in the morning to change my thermostat or things like that. Another cool example is uh, we've integrated this with SmartThings Labs uh, Sonos as sort of the voice of your smart home. And uh, the way that uh, that can do a lot of creative things, so when you actually walk into your kitchen, we put a motion sensor inside of the coffee cup uh, you know, holder here. If I open this up, it's going to sort of welcome me uh, into the kitchen. So we'll see if that. Good morning. Smart Things started brewing the coffee for you. It's 51 <laughs> degrees outside right now and will be clear with a high of 54 degrees today. I'll start playing the local news now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, you know, we'll, uh, we'll uh, I'll turn that, turn that down for you there, but. Another example, you know, in the course of your day, at some point you're gonna leave, and so it's another example where smart things can sort of sense that you're leaving the house. So it would do that based on typically, you know, geolocation. If you're carrying your phone with you, it knows you left a geofence that you can set in the app, or you could have one of these little presence tags. For now, I'll just trigger it uh, manually mm -hmm. and it'll do the, do the right thing. So I'm gonna tell it in Hello Home. I'm gonna actually tell say goodbye to smart things. And what will happen is lights will go off. The Sonos would have turned off as well. And actually the, the door lock over here will lock behind me. Okay. All right, I'll just turn these, uh, turn these back on so we're not sitting in the dark here. You showed off a lot of really cool stuff. When uh, are some of these things gonna be available? Well, uh, a lot of it's available right now. So the core goal of Smart Things is to be the simplest way to sort of turn your home into a smart home, and you can you can get that stuff today at CES. We're launching Smart Things Labs, which will connect initially the uh, Philips Hue bulbs, uh, the Belkin Wemo devices, and Sonos, and then there'll be a range of other things that uh, some of which you saw today that'll be rolling out as well. But that'll be available to users starting this week. Awesome! Thanks for showing it all off. Yeah, thanks too.